That got a little heated. You all right? Well, that depends. How angry is Cassandra? I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. I know, Varric. You never would have kept quiet otherwise. I keep hoping none of this is real. Maybe it's all some bullshit from the Fade and it'll just disappear. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Corivius is back. Oh, shit. Honestly, I'd rather fight an ancient Darkspawn with a pet archdemon than deal with that hole in the sky. At least you can kill Darkspawn. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. Nothing is unkillable. I'm not so sure about that. Do the things in the Fade really die? Maker's breath, what have I let loose? You had nothing to do with this, Varric. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. What was this place? So much room for whatever was here. Hello. I'm interested in what you told me of yourself and your studies. If you have time, I'd like to hear more. You continue to surprise me. All right, let us talk. Preferably somewhere more interesting than this. Why here? Avon is familiar. It will always be important to you. We talked about that already. I sat beside you while you slept, studying the anchor. How long can it take to look at a mark on my hand? A magical mark of unknown origin? Tied to a unique breach in the veil? Longer than you might think. I ran every test I could imagine. Searched the Fade, yet found nothing. Cassandra suspected duplicity. She threatened to have me executed as an apostate if I didn't produce results. Cassandra's like that with everyone. You were never going to wake up? How could you? A mortal sent physically through the Fade. I was frustrated, frightened. The spirits I might have consulted had been driven away by the breach. Although I wished to help, I had no faith in Cassandra, or she in me. I was ready to flee. The breach threatened the whole world. Where did you plan to go? Some place far away, where I might research a way to repair the breach before its effects reached me. I never said it was a good plan. I told myself, one more attempt to seal the rifts. I tried and failed. No ordinary magic would affect them. I watched the rifts expand and grow, resign myself to flee, and then... It seems you hold the key to our salvation. You had sealed it with a gesture. And right then, I felt the whole world change. 
For all our sakes, I'm pleased that you stuck around. As am I. You have fractured rules of man and nature, and you will shatter more before you are done. To visit me here? And you, not even a mage. What do you mean? Where do you think we were? This isn't real. That's a matter of debate. Probably best discussed after you... Wake up. Ah, oh, Maker, the smell is everywhere. I was going to use them for dinner and then... Sleep well? I've never done anything like that before. Do you regularly talk to people in dreams? No. Consider that one more rule you have effortlessly broken in your rise to power. I had no idea that the Anchor would allow you to dream with such focus. It is truly remarkable. But I am reasonably certain we are awake now. And if you wish to discuss anything, I would enjoy talking. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. 